My brushes are all falling on me. Hey guys, it's Amber. Today I'm doing this eyeshadow look. I haven't really done a makeup video in so long. And I was kind of just messing around doing makeup and I did this and then I was like, I'm gonna film a kind of tutorial video, so let's get into it. That was really bad. I don't even know if you can see me properly. I already like did my eyebrows because I wasn't really planning on doing this video, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Like, I don't know when this is gonna go up. It could go up at any point. I kind of forgot how I did this and now I've moved on my brushes, so I don't know which ones I use. I'm taking the Morphe 35B and I'm using this one. I'm taking BH Cosmetics 105. You guys probably don't care what brushes I'm using, so I might not say them all. And then I'm just gonna like, should I zoom you in a bit more? Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna like put it above my crease, if you get what I'm saying. I'm really bad at doing tutorials, so. This is uh, how it's gonna be. I was kind of going for like a pastel -y look, and then it kind of turned into this. I'm not a big fan of how this one got cut, but we'll try and make this side a bit better. Then we take this yellow because I was like, we love a good bright moment. I love yellow eyeshadow. So pretty. And take it like right up to where my brow is. That was a bit much. Let's make this one a bit yellower. I mean, we're all gonna blend it in a second, so it doesn't really matter. I'm scared that this is out of focus. Then I'm gonna take this greeny turquoise teal shade and just like bring it out because I'm gonna cut it. So I was kind of going for like this type thing and I don't really understand what I was really doing at the start. Took a bit of a blue and just kind of put it underneath and a lilac colour to blend onto the orangey ready Morphe brush 200 I'm basically just gonna blend this all together and going in with like individual shades to like make it a bit more brighter for that type of colour so it stands out a bit more Luckily, this weekend it's a three day weekend because we have a bank holiday on Monday, so we don't have to go to school. Super happy about that because can't be bothered. This side isn't going as good as this side went. What is happening? Oh my days. If you guys watch Riverdale, if you haven't watched Riverdale, um, this is going to be a huge spoiler, so you should probably go like skip past this bit or just watch it. I don't really know. But, oh wait, you probably will have because. The, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not uploading this video for a while. So you will have watched Riverdale, but in the episode that came out this week, shock. Like, I feel like Riverdale, it, it was going like a downhill for me. Like, it's just been going down, 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 down. But now they put a good episode out and I was like, I was, wow. How, it was the one about Betty's dad. And there was like the bus crash. And then they were like, oh yeah, we found a hand. And I was like, hoping to myself i was like hope her dad's not dead i hope he's like still alive and he's just like missing a hand because that would just make it so much more fun because it was kind of getting a bit bored not boring just weird and nothing was really happening and then he was alive and he just has a hook and i was like because now it's just made the drama turn up more and then edgar what the heck is happening with him why is Evelyn his wife? <laughs> what? I did not see that coming. I was so confused. I was like, how? And she's pretending to be his daughter. And now he's married to Betty's mum as well. And they all live together. And now, is Betty joining the farm or is she just living there? Like, so many questions. Is the Gargoyle King working with Betty's dad? Is Betty's dad, Betty's dad can't be the Gargoyle King. 
I don't know who the Gargoyle King is. Is it even a real person? Because it doesn't look like it. I don't, I don't really know. It's really weird and confuses me. I'm gonna use this foundation to cut my crease because I don't want to use my concealer. So I'm just gonna get a little bit out. This requires concentration, which requires me to not speak. Because I messed up on this eye, and then it took me ages to fix it. I feel like I might have messed up. That should be okay. I feel like that side, that cut crease, is better than this one because... Oh my god, this morning! Wait, let me get something and then I'll start talking. So, okay, right, I'm taking... Well, I'm just gonna... What? Ah, where's it gone? I'm just gonna kind of blunt this concealer out on my eye so it's not as like thick. Concealer, it's foundation. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same shades that I've just used. Oh, what was that? That's that's not good. Okay, take the same shades that I just used on my eye in the same order. So I'm gonna go yellow, orange, purple, blue, green, and just do this liner. I keep looking in my mirror because it's down there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make a liner out of it and match the shades so That's my next step. This morning, you know when people have them like mood things and it's like people's different face and it's like, which mood are you today? Well, I have loads of like stickers on Snapchat of Lauren. So I made one of her and there's like eight of them. She probably won't appreciate me posting it. So I'm not gonna. But I sent it to her and I thought it was quite funny. But it took me so long, so much effort to make it. Because I had to individually cut them out. Because I didn't know how to save stickers off of Snapchat. So I had to put them on this thing and then erase the background. And then it was a lot of work. At 8 o'clock this morning when I had nothing better to do. I hadn't posted on Instagram for the longest time ever. Like it had been a good couple weeks and then I posted because if you haven't seen mm, I don't know maybe I posted something on my Instagram story but I've been into painting recently I got myself some like watercolor paints some new brushes I've got a little book thing which I've been doing paintings in and I already had acrylic paints I've been really into it some pictures on my camera and then I edited them I found like these new like fil not filters but like effect things on my camera that were pretty cool and there's like a fish eye effect that you can do on it didn't even know that existed but i was just kind of messing around and i was like what is that um i didn't use that one to take a picture i did think the pictures turned out really good and i did like them so i posted them on instagram and i want my instagram to be cut i just put myself I want my Instagram to become much more bright and vibrant because I feel like all my pictures are just a bit boring. I mean, I think I'll probably do more makeup pictures as well because I feel like now I've got more into painting, I'm getting back into doing different makeup because I kind of, I didn't really go off it, but like I kind of did. Expect that coming soon. This is the hardest bit because now I need to try and make these wings. I don't even know if this automatically focuses. These wings match up and it might not work, so. That's definitely not right. Ready for this cool transition in a three, a two, a one. We did it, we did it, we did it, yeah. Da, 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 da. Here's the little liner. I cleaned it up and everything to make it, to make it a bit better and sharp now i'm using this which it's a nyx maybe this is focused nyx pigments in 03 diamond these are pretty but it goes everywhere so you need to be careful i'm gonna take where's my big brush this one it's like a big it's a big flat brush, it's the BH Cosmetics 102, as you can see, it's flat and very big, which is helpful. And if I just get a bit of this on here, I'm going to put it, let's come right close 
I'm gonna do it here on top of the liner, but try not to put it on the liner because I want that to just stay matte. And just do it like this. I'm shook. Right, super, super drug. Um, ugh, can't speak. Super drug. A stocking NYX. They are having NYX. Um, that's super cool because now I mean boots have it and literally the super jug and boots that are in my town are next to each other so you know but I guess if I'm in super drug then it's just easier to buy NYX from there not that I have money to buy makeup and then boots are having Fenty Beauty what the heck that's kind of crazy not that I'll, again, have any money to buy anything from it because that's a bit out of my price range. But it's just cool. This glitter is going all over my face. It's not working. This, very pretty, Crystal Liner, One Glitz by Collection. I'm gonna like, where I did my cut, where I did my cut crease here, I'm just gonna like line it. Again, it's glittery, so it's beautiful. <sighs> Concentration. And then on this side, I put it underneath here. I don't really know why, I just kind of did it and I was like, wow. That's cool. So I'm gonna do that here. Now I'm curling my lashes, I'm going to use the Colossal Big Shot by Maybelline because really good mascara. That mascara always applies better on my left eye. Anyone else? <laughs> I just got it on my nose. I'm not going to do foundation because I don't really want foundation on my face I don't want to have that feeling of foundation so I'm going to take a chocolate heart by I Heart Revolution bronzer and just put a bit of this on because I love this bronzer I feel like we can zoom out a bit now that was like the tiniest zoom out ever but oh well I'm going to use Makeup Obsession Blush in Fancy. It's really pretty. I do love blush. It just makes you look so much nicer. I've lost, oh. <laughs> Thought I'd lost my mirror, but it's because I put my palette down. And then highlighter. I think we're gonna use frosting out of this Praline palette by Heart Revolution. Stop mascara on my nose. Setting spray. Need to get, I think I'm just gonna put lip gloss on. I'm stuck between these two. It's either the Revolution Lip Topper in Luxurious. This is a lip topper, but it does look fine by itself and I do like it. Or Sexy Mother Pocket in Candy Queen. We're gonna do, whoa, <laughs> did you hear that? I'm gonna do Candy Queen. Think my makeup is done. Well, that's what I think. Actually, I'm gonna zoom back in and show you guys the finished. Okay, here is the finish. I think it's cute. Oh, wow. <laughs> Close my eyes for a second and the lighting goes messed up. This is what I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm looking, oh, not at the house. In my mirror to see if I'm in camera. Oh gosh, what is happening? But I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all soon. Bye.